This is Hiroshima Bye Bye. There may be some language that is offensive to some members of the audience. So would they please get the fuck out of the theater? Okay. Three, two, one, start. It's worse than the flesh. Get it started. Get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising terrible. Oh my! Get out of the way, please. It's burning, bursting into flames, and and it's falling on the boring bed. All the folks with me that did this terrible. This They were thin and very white. Some of the bodies were turned to be so there seemed to be one in agony of war. In order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young men. sense of the word normal. This is going to be the most fun I'd had in a long fucking time. I hadn't expected anyone would want to get into town, so I had no problem passing the wags at the 20 mile limit. Hell, I could see those bastard wags frying their eyes at a 2-0 limit. Like the last time they had a 2-0 limit, the blast took a 4-0 radius out. More where the wind was blowing, 6-0 I think. That was shy town God damn close. Fucking NY had little sections taken off. First was in the, uh, the Bronx, and hell, it took out another three-mile piece and left the rest of the Yorkers as french fries. I don't think anybody claimed that blast, but the fucking MRDs had started with one in Europe, so the fucking wags killed anybody that even resembled an MRD. But fuck, every anti-US group had nuclear bombs, so nobody was too surprised when LA and Washington got it. I saw it all on my little black and white TV in my little old living room. It was a crazy fucking year. The Surgeon General said the ozone was going like we were all going to die of cancer or something. Same effect as smoking a thousand cigs a day, he said. Now the terrorists are going for the small town hits. You know, scare the hell out of middle America and you can get whatever you want. But fucking Iowa City? A college town. Nothing. 72 hour notice meant everybody just packed up and left. They believed the threat this time. <laughs> A note to the papers led the wags to a building which they demolished. But they didn't find anything but a few dead bodies. Some fucking skinheads, no doubt, thought that was real funny. Fuckers. Last 24 hours were hell. Wags were killing anything that moved, then they moved out with three hours to go. Their fucking crimes would be gone in an hour. With about an hour left, everybody but a few B-teams and mental incompetence were out of town. Everybody else got their asses out long ago, and I was going in. Oh, there was some old guy there still. He said he wouldn't leave. Oh yeah, the press was still there, kinda. You know them, they set up a camera on the old man so people could watch him disintegrate. Excellent. Best fucking program on TV. (laughs) 
I figured as long as I'm taking my chances coming into town, I could get a TV for my car. You know, a nice little remote one. Maybe a bitch in stereo, too. The wags were checking every car that came out of town, so I couldn't get carried away. You know, it's a lot easier getting in than getting out. One thing I hate, it's fucking skinhead vandals. As long as I was in town, I could do my civic duties. You know, I didn't want to be here. My younger brother, the son of a bitch, lived in Iowa City. He didn't come out with less than two hours left. So me, being the good big brother, volunteered to go in and get him. I figured I could have a bit of fun anyway. Since I was near his fucking office, I figured I should check it out. The lousy son of a bitch was a burden on the family. I mean, we paid for everything. His apartment, his college, his clothes. Oh, his skinhead clothes. I fucking hate skinheads. For one thing, they're never on time. For another thing, they're never where they're supposed to be. Of course, he wasn't in his fucking office. He was probably out trying to get a quick bang in on some mixed up college girl. The bastard was always taken. Never giving nothing back either. You know, he sat around in his fucking nuclear disarmament office, standing on corners, handing out leaflets, Bullshit like that. I mean, a fucking 80s reject. If I found him, I was gonna kill him. It would be the best for everybody. Besides, if the stupid bastard lived in a real world, he'd know that there was no fucking way we were gonna stop making bombs. Ah, who gives a fuck anyway? Hell, the U.S. could blow up the world 500 times, but they couldn't even touch the terrorists. Yeah, sure, it might have worked a long time ago, but my brother, he was wasting his time. I could really give a fuck if he died. Him or anybody else. The reason for good. There's no point in dying. You voted him in now and if he was lying. Will this be a destiny to choke on your puke? Cause you died in the White House, had to stay new. Next week, next month, there's no use in guessing. I'd rather do it now with your sister Smith and Wesson. Maybe someday you'll find a civilization. And pity those who died from man-made radiation. There's no good reason why. We're all gonna die. Of course, my fucking brother wasn't at his squall either. Those bastards are never where they're supposed to be. Maybe he left town without calling his family. Son of a bitch, should be just like him. He left his TV and his precious books, though. They must have meant a lot to him. Probably never read one of them. Besides, a lot of good his fancy-ass educated mind was gonna do him splattered all over the fucking street. <laughs> Fucking vandals? Those damn skinhead bastards are everywhere. Since there weren't any wags in town, I'd be the one to deal out the justice. There wouldn't be a trace left of this motherfucker in 30 minutes. Bastard. God damn, son of a bitch, he fucked up my wheels. <clears throat> Even if I had the tools to fix this son of a bitch, I don't think I'd know how. Oh, man, without my fucking wheels, I was gonna fry like the rest of these suckers. I mean, you can run, but you just can't hide from a fucking nuclear bomb. Ah, well. Fuck, I didn't feel like fixing the bastard anyway. I didn't feel like looking for my skinhead brother anymore. I didn't even feel like wasting skinheads anymore. Hell, I didn't feel like anything anymore. Ah, well. I'd had my fun. You know, maybe this old bastard wasn't so crazy after all. What the fuck? I was one of the lucky ones. I gotta die watching TV.